Hey guys, so, let's get this over with. Um, we're going to do Exo's Overdose, and I'm actually going to do two in one, because I know for a fact that, um, I know, I, I, la, 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 la. I'm pretty sure the MVs are rather the same, but I prefer XOM, and honestly, over the course of my time with XO, rather, I've only really listened to XOM because I thought it was better. I've heard a few XO, um, K songs, but they weren't as appealing. So, um, here we go, XOK's Overdose first, and then XOM after. Okay, what are you looking at? Sorry guys, Kai is not my favorite member. Okay, um, box. Girl, that's the box from the boys. The tunnel, I know. Um, Blay! Was his power healing? That's why they got sand off of him, because sand doesn't have healing power. Chanyeol. Um, Bacon. A human. Ah, that middle part. It's honestly not even a middle part, it's kind of like... Oh, Tao. Okay, Sehun, okay, I see you. I remember when you were, you wasn't too good of a dancer. Okay, what what is Bacon wearing? Like, his, his um, styling looked like something you'd see in So Teji and the Boys. Do hello! Motherfucker. Yeah, I can't take big <laughs> seriously in that fucking bucket hat. Nothing really special so far. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it looked like. <laughs> Mo Chen looks pretty good. Although they kind of extended his eyeliner. Oh, oh, well then. Well then. Oh, Luhan's in a ponytail. Should I put my hair like that? No, not you, Ch Chen. Move, <laughs> fucking move, Chen. <laughs> you <two. laughs> fucking move. Oh. Oh God, Chris. Now he's wearing the fucking bucket hat. Like, no. Oh shit. These little hip thrusts are the cutest thing ever. Like, oh, 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 oh. I don't, I don't, maybe that's not right because, you know, if you, you is nasty ho, like, that, that don't mean, mm -mm. <laughs> I don't usually people do like the, as a signal, but that's maybe like, you need some. I wish he wouldn't crinkle up his nose, like it just makes it look like a Oh. Okay, Chanyeol's rapping now. Or he's always rapped, but I've never seen EXO as like big rappers, or it sound good at least. I like Sound's coat. I like how it's the things are slayered. Oh, I remember. I gotta talk about that. This is bold. Stop doing close-ups on Kai! He always just gets mad at the camera, that's it. It's weird, cause... I feel like they're separated by colors. I like that. I like that. That was a... That was a really nice fucking ripple. Ooh! Oh, zoom in sleeveless. Ooh! Okay, Tao, I saw that. I saw you, little sneaky ass bitch. I saw that. I fucking saw that. Here we go. XOM. Um. 
You got little credits on there. Lu Han's in front now. Although it should be Zhu Min because he's the better dancer. I don't know why Lu Han's there. If they were highlighting dancer, dancer kind of thing. And sink butter. Okay. So, um. Lay Lay. Lay Lay Zhu Zhu. I have a habit of cutting off their names. Although Lay's is not really cut off. I actually haven't heard the song or anything from it yet. I only heard the highlight medley and oh! Did you guys, do you guys see Zhuman's crotch right now? Sorry, oh! Oh! Oh. Why did they give Chris that part? It's so awkward. Fucking lay. See? Just see. You can, you can clearly see the difference between XOK and XOM. I don't know. For me, like, XOM is just like. They do it it's effortlessly. And the song sounds better too in Chinese. Oh, get it, Zoom, and get it. <laughs> see, see. Oh wait, see. <gasps> Way fucking better than XO. Ah, man, I was just enjoying XO M. Wait, I don't get it. You know, I honestly think they should have just friggin. Okay. I know most people would like start spazzing at the little camera tilt and like, but I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit over it right now. I'm sorry, guys. You know where's where's the fucking bucket hat? See, there is no fucking bucket hat in this one. Like, I doubt the clothes are even changed. That literally gave me chills. Yes, Lay. Yeah. Oh, not that part. I fucking hate that part. It's like a, it's like a whack a mole on Tourette's. Like, am I supposed to go inside the hole yet? Am I supposed to? Oh. Is that an E? So this is like in my hole. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good fucking bye. Oh. Oh wait, is that no? Oh, oh. Does that look like? Is that Chris in the ponytail now? Get the fuck out, guy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it is Chris in the ponytail. How cute. That's really cute. Okay. Luan. Oh. When they do, they're like... Especially when it's so dark around the edges, it kind of makes them look like they have on falsies. But, so... Let's get into this. Um, obviously you guys can tell I preferred XOA, X, XOA, what the fuck? XOM over XOK. I say this because, um, if, um, I mentioned earlier that I think for me XOM is kind of, you know, they do it effortlessly. When they dance and they perform, live or not, you know, it's, they, oh, there's like, there's like a freeness about them. Like, like, you know they're trying their heart, like, they're doing their best and everything, but the way it comes off as, it's like, it's so effortless. 
the effortlessly done like these guys can do it in their sleep now with xok um i think it's just me you know i apologize to any xok biases out there my hair remember in xok is suho so but you know for me it's kind of like they do a lot like they're they just make their faces really strong and try to pull off this charismatic thing. I mean, you know, everyone says EXO is charismatic, and I'm not going to deny that. But it's just, for me, I'm going to say it, people are probably going to hate me, but it's, it's Kai. <laughs> it's fucking Kai. Like, he always has so much of the spotlight. Yeah, he's a good dancer. You know, and um, personally, I think Lei is like a way better dancer than Kai. You know, because he has the... I don't know, he just has better moves. Uh, there was this one episode of Beatles Code when I think they did, like, freestyle and Lay's was obviously better. But with Kai, I just can't stand is the fact that he, like, they always give him screen time. Yeah, granted, you know, some EXO fans are gonna say that his power is teleportation, which is why he shows up all the most of the time. <laughs> He's teleporting into some camera lens or something. But it's just that he always makes this, like, re grunting face, like, and I know some Nuna fans love it. Like, it's just like, oh my god, fucking make that face at me one more time. And I'm going to have to go to the clinic to check if I'm pregnant. But I guess it's just, it's not for me. It isn't. It really isn't. So, let's get on to what I'm really going to talk about. So, when everything first came out with EXO, you know, I was rather, you know, I'm I'm sure if you guys follow me on Twitter, I was, you guys would know that I was rather disappointed, I was irritated because, you know, our groups before that um, did not get, for me, I don't think they got the proper SM treatment. You know, you had, uh, who was before TVXQ? Someone was before TVXQ, I know that. We had TVXQ, they came back with something, you know, that had gone on the charts and everything. And their 10th album, 10 year, or 10 year album, 10th. And then, you know, something choreography was good, the MV was really good, but they didn't promote that long. And then you ha they came back with a repackage. Um, I know one of my subscribers told me that they, um, they planned it for a while, and the repackage was Spellbound. They came back with Spellbound. So happy when I found out that um, Nappy Tabs worked on the choreography with Spellbound. So I was like, yay, yay, more motherfucking Nappy Tabs. So they got that. And, you know, they didn't promote long for that either. But, you know, it's a repackage. You don't really promote that long for a repackage. And then after that, you had SMSD. SMSD with Mr. Mr. They did not pro. They promoted for um, quite a while. It, was it wasn't too long. It wasn't too short. It was like a decent amount. And then they did not show up to music shows. I know they had other schedules, I forgot what it was, but that was that. And the song for me was really just bad. Um, it can't be any worse than The Boys, but it was, it was, it was, it wasn't that great as I expected from SNSD. Um, which is actually one of the things they wanted to be complimented on, saying like, this is girl's generation. Like, to me, it was just like, this is a rush to come back. You know, the choreography wasn't all that either. It was really, like, just dead. And it was overhyped, the fact that they were finally dancing with male dancers. And that was kind of, like, the main point. And, you know, you had that concept and everything. And then, after that, you know, we had Super Junior M with Swing. And that was good, but we all know that MVs didn't get much stuff. And Super Junior M, basically. You know, they promote in China. So that was kind of like, mm. but Nappy Tabs worked on the choreography with them too, and I was like, motherfucking yes, motherfucking yes. And then you have EXO. Okay, so my thing was that I think that EXO is kind of just, or er, this comeback overdose is basically just like the male version of Mr. Mister. The songs have similar stylings, and um, just the whole overdose and. You know, SNSD was kind of in a hospital, basically, and, um, you know, <sighs> the reflection portions of the photo, um, I know the images, the bottom portion I know was kind of, like, colored, which somehow the 
reflections of it, the colors of the reflections, mimics that of SNSD's Mr. Mr. The, the blue pink hues with the dark background and everything. And then, you know, you, like I mentioned, you have Chan Yoho's box, which is kind of like what I believe Yuna held the box in The Boys. And then, you know, I thought the shot, the, the actual set kind of looked like, um, a mixture of FX's electric shock with like a splash of Mr. Simple from Super Junior. And you know, it th like the set kind of looked like that also just with the new logo like plastered everywhere like new EXO logo and fucking put it everywhere. And you know, um other sets too when it's kind of um the, the darker ones look like um, TVX Keeps Neurotic and Super Junior's Bonamana. Probably said that wrong, Bonamana, but uh, I need to get myself an accent. And yeah, you know, I just... To, to me, I mean, I'm, a, I'm an EXO fan, like, don't get me wrong, but I'm not like all out EXO fan, but I do get excited for some of the comebacks. And this one, I wasn't so excited for. I was... However, just a little excited when I found out that Tony Tester choreographed it. And the choreography is really good. That's one thing I'm pretty sure if you guys have seen my other videos that like, if the song can be shit, the song can be fucking horrible as hell. But if the choreography is good, you know, I will, I will listen to that song <laughs> till it becomes fucking amazing. And I apologize if that looked like I just spit because I could have sworn I saw myself spit. Anyway, that's my verdict on EXO. I apologize if this video is too long because there are two MVs in it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like it. And you feel free to follow me on my SNS account, my Twitter, Facebook fan page, and Instagram. All my SNSs are the same, at Matthew Everett. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.